Everyone, it's Julian with Digital Trends, and we're here at I.O. Uh, checking out Wear OS and what's new with the smartwatch operating system from Google. I'm with Stefan Frank. He's the lead for Wear OS, and he's going to talk us through some of the new features that you can now use in Wear OS. So one thing we are really excited about is the new assistant. It has a new interface. You could hear already it's talking back to me. That is brand new. And it's very nice on the watch, because sometimes the watch you use in, in situations where you don't have a nice clear view on the screen or something like that. So if you even say weather. So it, it speaks back to you. And then also, if you pull this up, you see now what else you could ask. Like, what about this weekend? Uh, or what about tomorrow? Typical follow-up questions. Uh, so the suggestion chips, they are new on this, on this new interface. And one of the reasons why we wrote this new interface is also that we wanted to hook, hook up uh, what's called Actions on Google, which is a third-party environment where we can hook up third-party actions. And um, I want to show you, for example, um, one turn on lamp. So you saw in the background the lamp was going on. And so what this is, is that there's a Wemo, uh, in this case it's Wemo, um, that controls the lamp, right? And they, they wrote a, a third party action. So this is basically any third party actions that you can do with like your Google Home, for example, you can now control with your watch. Exactly. Right. And these are some IoT examples, which we feel strong about for the watch. Because for example, if you if you switch on the light, that is an action that is short enough that pulling out the phone is a bother. Right? Or I have one example um, where I can switch on the heating in my car. Right? I, I live in Boston, and when it's cold in the winter, you just say heat on my car while you're in a pub or something, right? and, and the you, car and will you switch can still, on. If your hands are tied, you can still just say, OK, Google, and that should work, right? Or, hey, Google? Yes, we can have OK, Google detection. Right? It's switched off because it uses a bit of battery by default. But if you prefer that, we can switch that on, and, and then uh, uh, OK Google Detection works. And then we have a few talk to amusement. This is, for example, a third-party action that is a, a travel provider. There. This is amusement. Nice to meet you. I'm a travel expert, and I'm here to help you with tips on what to see and do anywhere in the world. What are you interested in? events in San Francisco. These are my suggestions for San Francisco. Which one do you like best? So now you see it here. Right, these are events tonight in San Francisco. Right? So so this is this is an example where um, you have a longer back and forth interaction, uh, a conversation with your agent. Um, and that is also part of this new interface, that you can have this back and forth. Uh, before the uh, Wear OS had an assistant where, where you understood one command, right, and then it exited. And last not least, um, how did the Bruins play? The Bruins lost 3-1 to one last Sunday against the Lightning. Sad as it is, but we can now do sports <laughs> queries. <laughs> and um, because with this new conversational uh, agent that we have on the watch, a lot of the um, queries that we failed before, uh, we can do now. So a lot of, lot of the favorite assistant queries work now. And uh, all this stuff is already rolling out to Wear OS devices? Or? This is rolling out. Um, latest two days from now, it's at 100%.